Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, this game is all over the place right now. I gotta be completely honest. On one hand, we have lovely content that EA released yesterday in SBCs that a lot of people, including myself, were very hyped to see. And I'm very glad that we have SBCs like this to be able to craft into all week long, even through the weekend. It's great stuff. But on the other hand, EA just took a lot of that hype away because something they did with this store just a couple of hours ago so we're going to talk about all of that today and talk about the market too because it is dropping with all this news there is some panic and it's not good if you own some of these certain cards in the market so we're going to talk about that in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new now before we get into all the madness let's talk about the good stuff first let's go to the evolutions yesterday i mean good stuff this evo is not bad it's okay but what's really good is the spcs we'll talk about the evo first guys a free evo future stars right back power up and yes alex scott is one of the most meta cards that you can put in this evo it is a bit of a higher rated one overall 85 maximum 87 pace 90 physical it cannot be a center back and you cannot have a play style plus because it gives a play style plus and i'm getting kicked out of ultimate team okay well we're gonna log back in and take a look at this evolution on footpin then great game uh future star right back power up yes of course it is free it's actually only four games to do really really easy to do and to get done that is one thing that this evolution has going forward the upgrades plus three pace plus threes and fours and you do get plus six physical like basically across the board it's not bad i mean it's actually very doable i think it's just not like that insane so right to us right now it doesn't seem that crazy you do get play style plus for slide tackle which isn't the best but it's okay uh alex scott is extinct right now because she is one of the best cards that you can put into this and i think people are looking at it compared to her champions league card and saying that it is better statistically with uh i guess the the, the physical boost, other than that, it's almost the same card. Uh, so yeah, there's that, but this card's extinct. Di Lorenzo is very popular in this one as well. His first Evo card of the year. So if you're running a Napoli team, you need those links, you can get yourself an upgraded Di Lorenzo. And I will tell you, if any of you guys, guys did triple threat wing back on some of those right backs earlier on this year, there are some pretty crazy combos that you can come up with. This 89 rated, 90 physical, 90 pace card of a haul. That is a pretty sick card. I think Pedro Poro has got a pretty sick card as well. If you take a look under the pop of their evolution players, you're seeing a lot of those in there, especially if you click on right back power up. Um, yes, Kleiber is in here as well. Very interesting. Uh, Arsenis, the center mid card, who can also play right back. You can do into here as well. Like there's a couple of Evo combos that are pretty crazy with this and it is free. So I'm not going to rate this Evo too poorly. I think it's decent. I just think that it's one for me that I don't have anybody right now in my club that I'm looking at and like, oh my goodness. And also every time I click into here, it kicks me out. So I don't know what's going on with that. I guess I'm not doing the Evo right now anyways but with that being said uh we have a new evo that is i guess leaked you could say moving into another hype evo right another future stars academy midfielder containing 10 midfield options for the future stars academy midfield evo which of course we had the attackers we had the defenders and now the midfielder evo is leaked according to the pack code so the question is when is this going to come out who knows right i mean i thought the defenders one might come out um, this Friday, but maybe this one is going to come out this Friday. I feel like they just have to have another big evil like that on a content Friday because everybody expects big things on Friday. So that would be my guess. But honestly, guys, who knows? Now, that's enough Evo talk. Um, I'll, but really quickly, I'll preface this. I think some midfielders are dropping on the market because of this right here. But I mean, this Evo, I, I genuinely don't think it's going to be till Friday, but I think some people are starting to prepare early, to prepare early, because you started to see some prices move on the market. But let's talk about SBCs, because this is actually a big W. This was the biggest W of content yesterday, guys. The SBC that we asked for, we actually got. How often does that happen, right? And the requirements are actually pretty good. Only six players that you need to turn into the 80-plus player pick. And guys, as always... 80 plus player picks they usually hit and these hit now i'm going to open one right now it's probably going to be bad oh my gosh i only have 82s in my club i bet a lot of you guys have mudded clubs like i do right now i really don't want to spend or put an 82 rated card into this because 82s are very important for sbcs so i will go spend 700 on a gold rare because yeah i'm gonna to have to do that to get more of these player picks done but this player pick is incredible it is insane and it's consistently giving out 82s threes fours fives i mean the walkouts are not too 
crazy. Like, look at that. That's a normal one. That is genuinely normal, right? I'm going to take my 84, send it to the club, and then from there, I can go craft into the 84 times 5 that was dropped yesterday or the 85 plus double upgrade. Incredible SBC. Now, if you're like, Nate, I'm running out of gold. It's just like you were right there. Here's where you can get gold commons. Make sure you do the daily bronze and silvers to get silver and bronze players, and then do the daily gold upgrade four times a day, which will give you a rare and then 10 common so you get 40 golds out of that which i mean do the math that gets you eight player picks because it's five non-rares per player pick one rare and then you get four rares from that and you of course have to go buy in two more or just get two more from somewhere else from other packs like objective so really grindable really easy to get the commons and the rares to get that done at least open a few of them and then of course you can go ahead and do one of the new spcs that dropped yesterday which was the 84 times 5 upgrade so instead of the 83 times 10 ea said hey have another upgrade pack which again guys this is these are the two most upvoted SBCs from yesterday. Phenomenal, phenomenal content, right? No questions asked. It is very grindable, very craftable. You do need a team of the week for the 84 times five. And as you would expect, and as we said in yesterday's video, it was gonna take an SBC that had a repeatable multiple times per day aspect to it and then required an inform to make team of the weeks go up and team of the weeks i'm pretty sure we're selling at 21 or 22k earlier looks like they're down a little bit right now but if i had team of the weeks i would not be selling them right now yeah the 20,000 coins they were 17 to 18k i would be holding on to those because every single day the 84 5 is going to refresh lazy list those for like 25 to 27k and i think you'll be able to sell most of them throughout the week this week I don't know how high they're going to go. Maybe like 22 to 23K would be their max price per se. Um, but I think that if you're lazy listening at 25, you'll start to get some sales if you invested in those. That is a big GG because those are going up a lot. Now, one of the reasons that those might be down a little bit and some of the reasons that the market's getting supplied for stuff that is in packs and some of those prices are down right now is because of this. UEFA marquee matchups dropped yesterday because we have Champions League <laughs> today. Get ready for that Champions League anthem. I'm ready for it. RB Leipzig and Copenhagen City are playing um, this next couple of days and they are featured in the marquee matchups you get some okay packs back and uh, yeah it's just tradable pack supply we'll talk about how that's impacting the market a little bit later on and then we had a player spc yesterday as well which was actually a mistake that ea made amir richardson six foot five the man is tall medium high work rates he only has one play style plus it is um over the top pass whatever it's called long ball pass plus lob and lofted through passes are even more accurate this is the same play style plus that bruno has and it's pretty meta he's also got jockey press proven first touch and relentless good play styles for a midfielder for sure and they actually gave him a massive acceleration boost we were looking at him before the stream he had like 56 acceleration or something and got boosted to 81 guys this card honestly is not bad and it's not that expensive either it's only 20 38,000 coins to do because you have the inform requirement in there is an 84 squad with an inform this is one i mean i normally don't recommend doing spcs that are this kind of like lower echelon like cheap unless it's sentimental to you just because it seems like a waste of an 84 squad. But this is so cheap. I would stock this. It's also low rated. 87 is pretty low for where we're at in the current power curve. And then also the stats in the card are pretty evenly pushed across. I mean, hey guys, we're my, we might be getting Evos in the next like month that require a play style plus. And if you get a center mid, a center defensive mid Evo, even if it's in two months, this guy's six foot five with medium high work rates with really good passing, solid dribbling, and six foot five is just massive so this could be a really good player down the line for an evo so i would recommend to get that done stick it in the club if you have a decent amount of fodder or coins or if you're crafting this week that's one that i would not forget about because it's there and i mean he could be a beast in the future but for right now not that insane so that's all the good stuff right the evo fine the SBCs, fantastic right i've been crafting 85 doubles 84 times fives packed a couple more future stars yesterday albeit some of them dupes um but it's good to grind in the menus the menus feel like they are back with all of that content that we got yesterday and that is great and we like that and it's all good things and then yesterday ea did this all right guys you remember the for you packs right these packs that we saw updated in the code multiple times they have now been dropped in the game in the store and here's the problem with these because we thought that those, remember when we looked at that pack code, it was like, ooh, this pack for you. And then we like, oh, these promo cards, um, 85 rated or higher, also contains 85 rare gold player items. How many? I don't even, it doesn't even say. It doesn't even say how many uh, 85 pluses are in this. 
Also, 85 rare gold player. Oh, that's just 85 rare golds. Okay, so there's 85 rare gold players with 187 or higher. I thought that 85 was a guarantee. Just kidding. So they dropped all these packs in the store for basically their engagement rewards, guys. Remember what used to happen for engagement rewards? Was you would get a pack for how many days you logged in. This is Foot Birthday FIFA 21 promo that I could think of that had engagement rewards. However many days you played, you would get a certain pack for logging in. That's kind of what this is supposed to be. And when we saw all those packs in the code, we thought we were getting engagement rewards. We're like, oh my gosh, they're going to give us this pack? That is freaking sick. Nope. Wrong. EA took something that was supposed to be free rewards or what we used to know as free rewards and engagement rewards, a special pack for you, right? You've entered Ultimate Team X number of days, or in this case, at least three days, right? That just seems like a pack that they would give out for free as an engagement reward because that's what they've done in the past. But this time what they have done, gone and done is putting them in the store. Now, 10 and 30 coin pack, I ain't complaining about those. Fantastic. Absolutely love it. But the 250k pack and the 50,000 coin pack, like, man, just putting those behind a paywall is like, it just seems like, it seems, seems like the EA thing to do, man. It's another way that EA are taking something nice and finding a way to make some money out of it, right? They're just trying to make more dough, uh, sell more FC points with this. And guys, I'll tell you what right now. People are opening these packs with coins as well. It's impacting the market. I'm seeing prices on the market right now. Since these have been put out, prices on the market have dropped because people are opening this with coins and it's a coin drain pack. I would not open this, guys. I mean, yeah, you get 85 rare gold player items, but the promo cards, Trailblazers, Centurions, Triple Threat, FC Pro Live, or Thunderstruck 85+, plus, you're probably not going to get a very good player from that. Even though you get two of those that are 85 or higher, like it's not going to be good, man. I would not open these with coins. I would not open them with FC points. I think there's better things to spend both of those on uh, in this game. But I think the real frustration here is that besides the 10 and 30 coin packs, it's just very frustrating that EA has taken something, like I said, that was good, that was free engagement rewards that we looked forward to at certain points during the year. And they've now put these packs in the store. And EA tweeted, no way, they got community noted. Oh my gosh. Starting today, you may notice a new packs for you section in the FC24 Ultimate Team store. This is a new section which will include packs that are specific to your Ultimate Team journey based on common factors, like playing Ultimate Team for a certain number of days. Each for you pack description will include information to explain why that pack is appearing, a pack for you being made available to all players when they reach the same milestone. And then this is the context. I'm just seeing this. This is good. What do they say? Contrary to what was stated in this post, these are not specific to the player's progress in the game as they are the same rewards for everyone who reaches the milestones. Okay, all right. And then furthermore, they aren't rewards as you have to pay full price to open these packs. This system used to be free. Get them. Get them. Oh, man, that's too good. All right. <laughs> Yo, I just saw that. That is actually so funny. Community noted. How many times is that? That's like three times in the past two weeks that they've been community noted on Twitter for these tweets. That is too good, man. Um, yeah, so exactly how that re reads. I think that community note is pretty much spot on. These are packs that we used to get for free. And it just, again, yeah, I'll take the 30 coin pack and I'll take the 10 coin pack. But people would be even more disappointed if those weren't there. And even with those there, it's it's not about those being there. And that's cool, right? It's about the other packs being there and being behind a paywall, right? Guys, don't open those. I don't think they're worth it. If you're going to spend FC points, I think you're better off opening other packs in the store, to be completely honest with you. 2,000 FC points, save those, double it, and then get a, open a 600K pack, and you're getting guaranteed Future Stars players and like a way high rate is for all that other stuff. So, yeah, that's very disappointing. And again, it just it kills the mood. It kills the hype on this game at the moment because, yes, yesterday EA did do something nice, but it just like... Man, I think so many people are getting more and more frustrated. We have a promo card from an 85 double. This is, uh, of course, yeah, the same promo card that we've packed a couple of times now. Double me up? No shot. Okay, EA heard me talking some crap, man. EA heard me giving some constructive feedback. Who's behind this? E Endo. Okay, all right, cool. All right, Endo and Gurma. There we go, man. So double future stars in a pack. That was kind of legit. But uh, they're the fodder ones. Then we've already packed Gurma. So... Yeah, guys, it just feels like right now on this game, people are very frustrated, very frustrated. And it feels like people want to just stop playing. Like, I mean, with the frustration comes people that want to leave the game. And I guess EA at this stage cares more for the casual player that will see that and thinks, oh, 
FC points. That's not something I'm afraid of. Let me go and do that. Let me go and try that out, right? And I guess that they're viewing that player as more important and maybe getting more revenue from that because that store change seems so catered toward the casual, if you will. Um, and it's just, especially for us that grind this game day in and day out. I mean, yes, we've had good grindable content. That's why we were starting to be happy yesterday. But then something like that happens and it just feels like, ah, man, why? Sometimes it doesn't even feel like it's worth it, you know? And so that's the frustration with the game right now. I know a lot of you guys are there kind of talking about all the other problems in the game as well. People are uh, frustrated with gameplay and all this other stuff that EA has been, been doing wrong recently. It's just got so many people frustrated. And I feel you. I feel that frustration as well. Um, the hype for this game has definitely come down a ton since team of the year even with these cards being very boosted and cracked and uh, very packable so that's kind of the whole situation with that but as i mentioned people are opening those packs with coins and if you've checked the market at all if you've checked the market prices have tanked since those packs came out now they were already dropping yesterday but look at boniface you saw the one on my transfer list as i left the stream yesterday three four hours after content Boniface was 340,000 coins, 350, and I sold him, right? I bought Boniface to play champs. I bought him right here, and I sold him right here, like literally, like right here. Like a couple hours I had him, boom. And then this pack came out about right here. So he was down another 10K, whatever. We had tradable supply, that's expected. But he went from 330 all the way to 270. And I actually just picked up a couple of him because I was like, you know what? This almost feels like it did on the weekend with all this panic um, and this frustration with the game. I was like, you know what? Let's YOLO it with some bonus face. Either he's going to be 300K tomorrow and I'm balling and I'm loving it, or he's going to be 250 and I'm sad. But um, I also just kind of sent it on a Rooney. That's why I was checking his price, hoping to flip him because he's really rare. So like the market's kind of mudded at the moment but i'm also being pretty risky with it so i don't know we're just trying some things out but look at a lot of these cards they are down bad alex balde 547k lukiba's 133,000 coins robin's back down doku's the lowest that he has been harvey elliott's 40,000 coins man like what that card for that price is nuts i don't know if you guys saw this arda guler is minimum price i had four arta gulers also on my transfer list that i bought yesterday and i had to take the l because i was like this guy is going to minimum price for his price right now so i started to take the l on those yes i lost like 15k on a couple of these and i lost like 5k on a couple of others so all in all on this transfer list besides this jobby simons which i made like 20 more than 20k on actually like 30,000 coins w got a lazy sale there i even started to sell some like enthusies and leon bailey just because guys the rest of the market is starting to get panic sold because of the stuff that is happening in the store there's a direct correlation to it because the prices started going down with that and i've even had people in my twitter x mention saying i opened those store packs with coins guys again that sort of thing when ea put out store like coins packs like that in the store People see it and they're like, oh my goodness, that pack's got 85 players in it. Like, yo, and it's got all these promo cards. Yo, let me go open that with coins. And that's the frustrating part for us that play this game that know that pack's really not worth it with the coins is that a lot of people see that and they open it. And yeah, it's now impacting the market as well. Um, look at these guys, man. Bailey's 198. He's 200,000 coins. There is some panic. Wow. Marino is 70K. There is some panic on the market right now, guys. And you know what? I worry that it's going to continue into today. I really do worry that it's going to continue today um, because even yesterday after content, it's not like prices really went back up. And I know that I'm saying this and I have cards on my transfer list that I'm hoping to trade and I'm hoping to flip. Um, fingers crossed that I'll be able to get a couple of flips in just because, again, these cards are very rare and we love that. But, I mean, like, I, do, I don't love especially some of the cards that are very invested in at the moment. The Road to the Finals, I know they're live and there's games today, man, which is hype. And some of these cards actually have an opportunity, like Johnny Simons, to get upgraded because he's got a game. Like, he's playing and if they draw or win, it's an upgrade. But I just think that that's going to create some more selling. People sell on the hype anyway. And these cards have not done that well since there were in packs. So I'm just worried about some of them today, even though the upgrades are like on the line in the next couple of days. So um, that's kind of my, I guess, warning to you guys for some of these cards. Um, but also, as we say a lot of times too, with panic selling comes opportunity. Like you're going to see some of these cards, you're going to drop, drop, drop. Like, I don't know how low Javi Simon is going to go today just to kind of keep going with this example, but he's a rare card. And you have to remember guys that all of these road to the finals are rare cards. And at some point they're going to get too low and they're going to bounce back up. So if there's panic today, watch out for that. Even if they, I mean, if they lose that first round game, 
like then you know there's going to be some drops after that but there's technically still live after that if they would to come through in the second leg it's just like a week or two or three before some of those guys play so i think i'm just going to be careful on the market guys because with the menu content being as good as it is um it just feels like there are some price drops that are going to be happening but man for boniface when i saw this price i was like dude I don't know if he's going to go any lower than this because literally the guy on Sunday was still um, 400,000 coins and now he's 270. Like for this card, that's crazy. And these are the hype cards, right? And Kosonu from the Defenders Evo links to him. So that's why I wanted to risk it on him. I said, again, I'll either be super happy today or I won't be. We have Foot Champs rewards that are getting paid out today. So that could bring some more coins to the market. People may want to go out and buy cards. Usually you see a little bit of an uptick after Champs rewards, but... Who knows, man? So that's why it felt like we were a little closer to a low point than anything else on his card and maybe a couple of the other ones that are in the team. But just be careful, man, because the uh, the market is mudded. Now, let's talk about fodder. Let's kind of cruise through that part of the market and talk about this part of the market. Fodder's down too. 85s are 4.7K. Marquee matchups and, I mean, even the store pack too, bro. I think the store pack, like, look, 85 Chalana glue. The store pack dropped around right here. And look, he was 5.4K and now he's gone from that to 4.7. Like, that is mad. Fodder in the low tier is down bad. Those packs in the store aren't even tradable. But I think it's the fact that people are opening them, getting that fodder, and then, like, I think a lot of people aren't even wanting to do SBCs at the moment, whatever it may be. And people have the 85s that they're getting from the 80-plus player picks, 85-plus double upgrade. So, like, look at 86s. They're 8K. They're getting destroyed. 87s are 12. 88s are 19. I mean... I know that 89s and 90 look crazy low, guys, but like with the way the market is heading, we need to see more SBCs either leaked or actually dropped in the game to see some of these cards go up. Like I know we talked about 90s yesterday at 45K being a good buy. They genuinely could be a good buy. But right now, I almost would think I would be waiting to see what's going to come out to make those cards go up. That would be a long-term play if you want a club stock, like an, an 88 at 18K, like... That is that is ridiculous. Let's be honest. They were like 16k at one point at the beginning of January, and then they went all the way to 33. Right? You know, I mean, obviously Bernardo was helped here by being out of packs, for sure. But like you guys know, 88s went bananas. So um, yeah, that's kind of the fodder situation. If you want to club stock a little bit for a longer term play, you can. But I'm being very careful with the market now. What's going to happen with upcoming content? Let's talk about today on Tuesday. What could we see today? EA tweeted yesterday their content tweets, right? Of course. Um, and there's a Future Stars icon that is on this tweet. We had the Future Stars player SBC yesterday with Richardson. We have the Pundit picks coming out tomorrow. Remember, we talked about that in yesterday's video as well, that DePaul SBC. And then two player of the months, upgrade SBCs, Evos, theme team. And yeah, I think this icon SBC would be maybe something that could make some high rated fodder go back up if it's a big icon. Like, the only icon that we have still leaked right now for Future Stars, at least we think is going to be um, potentially a part of Team 1 via an SBC would be Rykard. I think he's the only icon right now that is leaked. So um, if Rykard is our SBC player, I don't think that's a big enough SBC that I would go and buy fodder for unless he's going to be super cracked. Like if they were to leak somebody like, I don't know, even if it was like an older icon, like a Thunderstruck Cruyff, like that'd be insane. That'd probably be too good of a card. But Thunderstruck Pushkas, like if they were going to drop an SBC for that card, then I'd be like, okay, Thunderstruck Pushkas, he's going to be a bit more expensive, million coin plus SBC, I might go buy some fodder. I feel like a lot of people in the menus right now have already finished the SBCs that they wanted to, to get done. You know, Zico, Henri, Cafu, I'm about to start Cafu, but you know, Hullet, Sawa, a lot of people have already gotten those done. So I think that's why some of your fodder too is dropping down because there's just not as much people are working on. But with the craftability of the menus right now, I think some people are going back in and just doing SPCs they maybe didn't think they really wanted to do, but they have the fodder now to do um, just because fodder is very easily accessible right now. So that we do love for sure. And especially since fodder has dropped, buying the occasional 88 or above rated player for a high rated squad does make the SPCs way, way cheaper now we do have the 86 plus player pick that is expiring today i did yesterday and got absolutely shafted from after watching somebody on the stream pack um vvd from like this this 86 plus pick he packed winter wild cards vvd it was insane wasn't meant to be for me though this is going away i could see it coming back i could also see with so many upgrades out right now refreshing every day that it might not come back so that's that um yeah guys i maybe bundesliga play of the month i don't think that's even been leaked yet prem play of the month's probably on friday so i don't know if bundesliga would be this early in the week that might be on thursday 
Um, there's no other Evo leaks besides the midfielder one, which I think EA would want to save until Team 2. If I was EA, I would save it for Team 2 because of how hyped those were. So we'll expect that on Friday, but maybe it would be coming today. Today might be a bit of a slower day. We'll just have to see. Last thing I want to point out, if you stuck around the end of the video, maybe you noticed already, but maybe you don't. EA dropped a random, very random bonus objective just a couple of hours ago as well. Like literally, I'm recording this and it was an hour ago. Um, I think EA realized that they didn't give out enough XP during the whole season since it was a very shortened season. And they just dropped a random, random, very random objective for 4,000 XP. And it's a group reward, guys. So there's a couple interesting things about this. First of all, I'm level 14, almost level 15 with my foot champs rewards. The XP I get from that plus this, I'm golden. I'm hitting level 20. This is very much needed. I know a lot of you guys we were talking about in the stream yesterday. A lot of you guys are like level 13, 14, 15. This is going to help massively to help you get towards the end for level 20. Um, but if you're already at level 20 or if you're going to get there before Thursday when the season ends, do this. Don't claim it. Because in, since it's a group reward, same thing kind of happens with the weekly objectives where you used to be able to claim those and then save them for the next season. You might be able to save this and get 4,000 XP to jumpstart the next season. Now, EA might have something in here where it's an auto claim or, or something, but since it's a group reward, you don't get the XP until you click X or click A on Xbox uh, and claim it. So that might be worth thinking about. You might be able to save it. So that's just something I want to put out there and uh, I guess say because it's possible that that could happen. So yeah, guys, a lot going on in this game right now, man. I mean, yesterday I was I was prepared to me like in a video today. I was like, oh yeah, guys, like, hey, we got good menu content right now. The grind is better. The grind is back. And instead we have a, these store packs that have been added and EA getting, you know, tweeted at by community notes on Twitter. Another mistake yesterday with the Richardson SBC. It's like, man, um, wow. And I do have some more thoughts on why I feel like the game right now is kind of in the mud, but we'll save those for a little bit later. But this does not help the just the aura of this game right now at all. But if you guys are enjoying the content on the YouTube and if you're still uh, tuning into the videos, I appreciate you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we'll be live streaming today. I got more 80 plus player picks to do, man. I got champs rewards to open up on stream. And as you can tell, the future stars are in packs, man. So we're gonna try to pack some more of those. See what else we can get into and upgrade a couple more cards in our squad with the crafting that you can do right now, which is fun at the very least. So if you enjoyed today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a stream today. The link is down below in the description. Peace. Out.